Welcome everyone. We're going to be looking at another limit problem here. Now, if you try to do direct substitution for this particular limit, again, we're not successful at doing it. So we're gonna have to find another approach to this limit problem. So the way we're gonna show that the limit exists is by actually applying the sandwich theorem for single variable, but this can also be extended to multivariable. Let's take a look at this statement. Here we have the sandwich theorem, also known as the squeeze theorem, for functions of two variables, very similar to single variable functions. It states that if you are looking for the limit of f of x, as x, y approaches y, o, x, o, y, o, uh, if you can bound this function between two other functions, when you take the limit, if g of x, y, and h of x, y approaches the same limit, l, then we can say that the function that's trapped between them, which is the one we're looking for, will also go to the same limit. So that's what we're stating right here. So that's the idea with this particular problem. So we're going to try to bound this given um, function we have. So let's take a look at this. So if you throw an absolute value of 5x squared, so let's um, write it this way. So I'm just going to rewrite our function. Now we're going to uh, take the limit as x, y approaches 0, 0. Now this is going to be less than and bigger than some other functions. So um, what I'm going to do, I know that this is going to be bigger than 0 because we're throwing an absolute value. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this term from the denominator. So that way I will create this new function. So we have the limit as x, y approaches 0, 0 of an absolute value, 5x to the fourth, sine squared of x over x to the fourth in absolute value. So all I did is I, I just eliminated this term. Now the inequality is true. So now let's talk about uh, this limit to the right side. Now, what is this limit? Well, if you simplify the terms inside the absolute value, so we have the limit as x, y approaches 0, 0 of, so this is going to be 5 sine squared of x. And now if you try to approach as x, y goes to 0, we know sine of 0 is 0, so this limit is 0. So there you go, there we have it. This is uh, uh, bigger than 0. And now it's less than zero, therefore the limit of the function we were looking at will also has to be zero. So we can say that this implies that the limit as x, y approaches zero, zero of the absolute value of 5x sine square of x over x to the fourth pi y to the fourth, this is going to be zero. And now we can say that Therefore, the original problem we're looking at, which was at without the absolute value, so the limit as x, y approaches 0, 0 of our original problem, which was without the absolute value 5x to the fourth sine square of x over x to the fourth plus y to the fourth is also equal to 0. So that's our final statement.